vlog and thank you for tuning in. Let's address the elephant in the room. The S14 is on the left. <laughs> a lot of you guys have been dying to get an update on what's going on with Envy. I have been drifting a lot. I promise an update on that soon. But first and foremost, while I've been driving, I have been experiencing a bit of an overheating issue. And although we've tweaked a couple things here and there, one thing is that the exhaust is very restrictive. What really led to us wanting to completely redesign the exhaust system on the car is, well, the flux pipe got old, it crunched, it separated, as you guys can see. Just to make the last track day, we had to tack weld it on so that it would stop slipping off. Also, we're having a little bit of an overheating issue, so it probably would only help us to make the exhaust system a little bit less restrictive. It's really not that bad. A two and a half goes into a three, dual goes into a single, and then out the rear there. What we're going to do is an X pipe and redesign the exhaust so that it is dual all the way to the tips. Let's just grab the uh, hacksaw, right? Hacksaw? Really? I was thinking just like a wooden saw, you know, you grab one end, I'll grab the other, and we'll just do one of these. My favorite tool. Before we go ahead and get started though, I do want to give you guys an update on some of the other cars. We put the engine into Tomato and then we didn't really do anything since, on camera at least. Tomato is my L Coupe, kind of looks like a 2.5 RS inspired Impreza build. I wanted to make sure that we did this build as legal as possible. So we're in the middle of the bar certification process and I'm sure you guys understand it's something that I personally do not want to film. However, if it is a process that you guys are interested in, I will link some YouTube videos in the description below. Envy here, we have Mimi here. Mimi, um, wait an episode or two. We, we've decided to do more horsepower first because all the tracks are closed. And Cash Money, the RB26 Twin Turbo S13 that we did on the channel. We're gonna be racing her a little bit, so I think we need to put a roll bar in and maybe do a couple other things for safety. We can't forget the C8. I know you guys wanna know what is going on with the Twin Turbos. We really haven't been in a rush to get it done because no one has found a way to hack the ECU yet on the car. So really, we're just gonna be throwing a light wastegate spring on it and we're scheduling in the next week or two to go down to Texas to have it done. The kit is already done, plumbed. You have the heat exchanger, we know everything we're doing. It's gonna be happening very soon. That's just a quick little nitty gritty update. Now I wanna show you guys what we're thinking of doing for the exhaust. Before we get any further, I'd like to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Raycon. I wanted to try these before I actually promoted them to you and I've been using them for about the past month or so around the house, here at the shop, even just kind of running around exercising on the streets and I have to say that I actually really like these a lot. They sound better and they last a lot longer than my previous, not to be named, premium wireless earbuds. I get about six hours on one charge and the case can charge up to four times. It's really nice to be able to keep these in my gym bag or wherever I want and if it's not the end of the world if I forget to charge them. I've also found these to be much more comfortable to wear. They fit better. <sighs> they didn't go anywhere. It doesn't happen with these and they're like half the cost. The ones I'm wearing, their everyday E25 earbuds are their best model yet. With six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design that gives you a nice noise isolating fit. It also comes in new fun colors and the base is very nice. If you are in the market for new earbuds, I highly recommend that you guys give these a try. They're offering you guys 15% off your first pair. Go to the link in the description below or go to buyraycon.com forward slash Amelia and give it a try. Huge thank you to Raycon for sponsoring today's video and helping me create the content that you guys enjoy. Well, I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> all right, let's get back to the episode. So we need new Sawzall uh, blades. So we're gonna head over to Home Depot to pick that up. This. Oh. All in. Have you ridden in this yet? No. Hold on tight. Oh. I'm, f***ing, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Should be a good frisbee, right? <laughs> you want to chop off somebody's head? <laughs> Go ahead, then use it. So we're gonna do a couple revs for you guys to hear the exhaust before. If it sounds like there's an exhaust leak, that is because there is an exhaust leak. That's part of why we're also fixing this. It also doesn't idle the best, so bear with me. You'll still get an idea of what she sounds like.
She's running rich, rich, but we gotta fix a couple things. We plan on bringing her back to the dyno to get a couple things fine-tuned on the tune and also tune her down to 91. We didn't do that at the track the last time we are trying to remote tune just because it makes it a lot easier to do it on a dyno. That gives an idea of what it sounds like. Can we go to the racetrack now? Well, that's what we're preparing for. So yeah, let's uh, start cutting shit. Exhaust, it was fun while it lasted. I'm gonna still try to find a way to use titanium tips because I love it so much. Let her rip. Me welding this, my beautiful weld work. Man, I miss welding TIG. While Sandy cut and measures, I'm gonna start tack welding the pieces together and then we'll lay it on the floor and show you guys the difference of what we're doing. All right, let's do this puppy. You guys get the idea of what we're working with right now, but um, your girl's a little rusty. I forgot how much I like welding, but it, it has been a minute. So we're part of the way there. We have tacked on quite a bit through the X-pipe and out, and now we're kind of designing how it's going to go around the diff, and then we'll have it come out like this. All right, next up, I'm gonna tack uh, that one to that one. That is a pretty little pack. Yeah, I like TIG welding. MIG welding, not for me. So I'm not about the slug in my high tops for all of you OGs. MIG welding's fast. It's fast. It's fast, it's easy. The burns are fast too. Gotta pay to play. Yeah, for those of you guys who are good at MIG welding, mad respect. I guess TIG, all forms of welding. Your car sounds like a four cylinder. So here's from the header to the X pipe. We already tacked it. I'm gonna try and weld this all together. I'm starting with the front of the car because my welds aren't necessarily the prettiest and it has been a long time. So it might look like poopy caca, but hopefully by the time we get to the back, I've gotten better. That's the goal. <laughs> <laughs> How do they sound when you scream at them? Boom, 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 boom. It looks like it's gonna muffle about nothing. It'll muffle a little I mean, bit. I mean, you can only see straight through. Something's better than nothing, right? It muffles That's all we're going after. Something better Something. than nothing. You know, may maybe we could take out a little, a little more. It might be too quiet. So, fun fact, I fusion welded my titanium exhaust, so I did not use filler. So, I'm not very good at filler, but I'm gonna to learn today. Be kind to the comments, okay? <laughs> it's okay, but it's not great. All right, I got a lot more to do. We're working on welding the tip up right now. I'll show you guys in a second. But Sean's like nut and bolting this right here. And he found a lot loose. Yeah, I, literally your entire cross member was like finger loose. Lovely. Maybe my steering rack isn't as bent as we thought. It's amazing how much comes loose after a day of driving. So glad we're doing that, getting prepared. And let's go finish that exhaust. We're running out of daylight. We got the tips welded on. Look at Sandy's amazing, beautiful welds. Oh my God. So. I'm gonna try not to butcher the rest of it. <laughs> Got it. I f***ed that one up. It didn't wanna really melt right. Thanks for making me feel better. I 
All right, I think we're just about done with the exhaust. Let's go test fit and see. I remember how to weld halfway. Bro, oh, not bad. That's Look good. That. Okay, it's good. Okay. Quite now, we're gonna get the TIG over here. Holy shit. You guys, this new exhaust system looks so professional and so well done. And it looks like, okay, let me just show you. Old and busted, we got new and hotness. Look at the difference of this. So now from the headers, we are next pipe instead of just collecting into one for the remainder of the way, go around the diff. And then we have the dual exit exhaust out the side. Your old exhaust looks like a straight turd. It, it looks does. like a turd. It looks very restrictive and choking. This looks like something I did when I had no idea what the f I was doing. You ready to hear it? Let's hear it. Yeah, I'm ready to hear it. So Especially who pitches, who catches? Uh, oh, it's not going. Go. Spit on it. <laughs> ah, gotta lick it before you stick it. <laughs> God damn it. Tell her who's daddy. I should have spit on it. I mean, it's pretty centered right now, actually. I thought we were gonna have to move it, but. Oh, that looks great. Yeah. Crazy. I've been needing to do this for a long time now. Also found out at the last track day that my handbrake isn't working. I don't know if it ever really worked fully cause it was kind of my first handbrake with the setup. So I really yeah, hadn't so experienced a handbrake before until I went to Grange and I drove a car with a hydro that actually worked very well and it made me realize that mine needed some work. And so after taking a look at it today, we realized that the pads are floating a little. So we need to get a residual valve in order to kind of keep a little bit of pressure on them. And um, we blood the system. I'm sure that had a lot to do with it too. And then ideally that should be a huge help. Ladies and gentlemen, the new exhaust is done. All right guys, let's hear this exhaust. <laughs> Racetrack. I am more than happy. I'm so glad we did this. And I mean, honestly, as much as I love the blue tips, this looks better, just cleaner like this too. We're no longer choking the engine. We'll see at my track day tomorrow, whether or not she still overheats or at least to the temperature that she was before. But uh, it really made no sense not to have an X-pipe on this. Yeah, that thing just needed to go. Bye-bye. So you guys, it's stupid, but I like it. Um, Sticky a long time ago sent me the low pro handle for the for the handbrake and I've just been using this to swap it out. Mm -hmm. Saw nothing, y'all heard nothing. Thank it's you. not my problem, it's your lug nuts. <laughs> okay, before and after, so much better. <laughs> Exhaust is done, looking forward to the track day coming up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I'm gonna be talking to you guys very soon here about what is going on with drifting. But in the meantime, hope you enjoyed today's episode. Thank you so much for all of your help. You do great champ. But yeah, all right you guys. Uh, do me a favor, share this video, very gently push that like button, and let me know your thoughts. E-Crew, we out here with love. Bye! <laughs>